Hey guys and welcome to this little brief tutorial. In just five minutes I would like to give you a brief introduction into VR Studio by Mobfish. I don't want to take more of your time because I know you want to get started right away. So let's dive into the edit tab. From the edit tab you can create and edit your VR experience and this is what I would like to do right away. To show you how to get started with VR Studio, maybe first of all it's very important to know how can you test drive your app. So when, once you've created your first project, it comes with that little scene and I would like to show you how you can get this running on a device before we get started with the experience. To open up your experience, you just click on the preview tab, download the app for your desired device. So in my case, it's the Mac desktop app. You click on the dots and download app. After you've done that, you can open up the app from your computer. In, within the app, you will find a device code. Um, in, my, in my case, it's uh, down here. And you type in this device code into that little section underneath all the download files, so right here. And once you've done that, um, you hit Add Devices and they will be added. And your project will, be, uh, will appear within uh, your testing app. So if I open that app, it will show me the very first scene that's already appearing in my project. So let's get started by changing the start scene. This is pretty easy. You just pick one of your 360 degree media and drag and drop it into the editor. So once it's uploaded, it will show up in the middle tab here. And to get more out of my experience, I will add another scene by clicking on this plus scene button. I will name the scene Rockefeller. Ah, sorry there. And drag another scene in here. So Rockefeller video. There you go. Um, you can set up the type of the VR media. So in this case, it's 360 degree, but you can also use stereoscopical or any other. Uh, you pick it here and we wait till the upload is finished. Once that scene is uploaded, we can create another scene. And for that one, I would like to show you a little shortcut. So when you create a new scene, you can just um, drag and drop a video inside the scene list. And that creates another scene and names it after the file. So I can just send, type in Times Square and um, all set. It's uploading now. So one thing I would like to set up real quick is that end action is going to be the start scene. So whenever a video is played, um, is finished, it should go back to the start scene. And I will add a home button into the scene, which also goes back to the start scene. Now I'll repeat this for the Rockefeller scene as well. So it's going to be back to the start scene and um, home button will appear here. So the last thing I need to do is um, to create two menu items or two interactives within my start scene. And I will use hotspots for that. Hotspots are a way for to make VR experiences interactive. Uh, we will dive deeper into the different kinds of hotspots uh, VR Studio is offering. Let's start with the scene link. I will add a scene link, um, say okay, this one will guide you to the Rockefeller Center. Um, for trigger icon, I can um, upload this picture here. That gives you a preview of the scene I'm jumping into. And I will rename this hotspot to Rockefeller and say it should be shown. Make it a little bigger, maybe to 20. Oop. And that's it. And add, an, add another hotspot for the other scene. There's a time square. And for the trigger icon, I'll choose my time square picture. And also resize it to 20. Don't forget to save your scene and then we can open up and then we can test drive it again.
Now you can see my menu scene in the central park and my two my two hotspots Rockefeller Center and Times Square and I can click on them to jump into the other scene and then there is this home button that always brings me back into the main scene. So that's it for now. In this tutorial you learned how to create several scenes, how you can test drive it on the test device of your choice and how to use hotspots within your project. Have fun playing a little bit more with Mobfish VR Studio and dive deeper into other videos about hotspots, scene management and so on. Enjoy!